fine so in the last session we just completed payable related configuration now we'll see that invoice creation as well as payment process first we'll see how to create the standard invoice okay we discussed different type of invoices we'll see how to create the standard invoice so whatever the invoice we are going to create now that we call as standalone invoice that means without referring any purchase order information or receipt information we are going to create invoice in the payables that we call as standalone invoice you can call it as standalone invoice we'll see how to create the standalone invoice so later we'll be creating so PO based and receipt based invoices for that we have a matching options also okay fine so just go to instance or username is cloud Go to Payables. Okay. So to create the invoice, take the navigation. Navigation is invoices entry invoices okay with this navigation we can create the invoice in payables just double click so this we call as invoice workbench the different type of invoices whatever we discussed okay those all invoices sorry I think I just selected wrong one Yeah, we could see. Okay. One second. Yeah, this is the one. So all these different type of invoices we can create within the same invoice workbench. Right. So by default system is taking invoice type as a standard. And uh, we, we don't have any PO number. To select PO number so that system will be taking the supplier information all the details we'll see the PO based invoice creation so select here trading partner nothing but supplier name so supplier just click on LOV and give percentage just say okay so we created only one supplier called as cloud IMC that supplier you can find okay now scroll it till right here and based on the supplier selection system is selecting the supplier number now we have to select supplier site so just once you place the cursor system is taking automatically the reason we have only one site if you have multiple sites from LOV you can select the specific site now just tab out you have to select invoice date say invoice date is today date use tab automatically system will select the invoice date so today's date system is taking that invoice date when you get the invoice from the supplier on which date the invoice got generated that date you may specify okay the invoice number I am going to give as one I am just giving the invoice number as one and enter invoice amount okay enter invoice amount I am just entering 10,000 rupees and scroll little right here so all system is taking the GL date, payment currency, all the information will take automatically. If you want to distribute this 10,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees with the help of distribution set, you can select a distribution set here. We'll see later how to use this distribution set for transaction create invoice creation process. Okay, we'll create this invoice without distribution set. That means we'll be creating the invoice with ma manual distribution okay we are going to create invoice with manual distribution 
scroll little right here system is selecting payment terms as immediate how system is taking this payment terms here in the payable system setup we have immediate that system will default to supplier site site to sorry supplier header header to it will copy to site whenever you select the site automatically the same payment term it will select the system will take here anyway we created our own payment terms that you can select fine so you can select any one of the payment term i am selecting payment term as a cloud immediate and supplier site level we enable payment method as check so system is taking the same payment method here as a check and other information is not mandatory okay so this is invoice header we discussed invoice will have a structure called header line and distribution now all the details whatever we are entering we are entering in the header level so automatically system is taking the operating net how system is taking this operating net here any guess anyone please how system is taking this operating net here anyone we as in the uh, operating unit yeah the exact statement we assign means what assign the site level you know, operating unit actually no 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 anyone please so i am asking the question whatever uh, just we completed in the multi org structure operating unit level we create the abr boof yeah that is true that is true but there is some reason why it is taking this operating unit here why it is not taking other operating unit we are created only one operating unit no right no oh, no that is not the case okay so why system is taking this operating unit here any guess we assign this operating unit to this responsibility cloud accounts payable super user response we assign right by using mo operating unit profile option we assign this operating unit to this responsibility so we are in within this responsibility that is the reason system is taking that operating unit why system is taking this operating unit because we assign this operating unit to this responsibility we are in that responsibility that is the reason system is taking this operating unit okay this is the reason <clears throat> we can assign multiple operating units to one responsibility also that is separate concept we will discuss later and we will be working on it okay so what information we given in the invoice header level invoice type anyway system is taking what type of invoice we want to create that type of invoice we have to select here okay by default system will take standard okay anyway we want to create standard invoice only okay next step we have to select the supplier we want to create invoice against which supplier we have to select the supplier name the field name you can see as a trading partner nothing but supplier and you can provide the supplier site invoice date invoice number invoice amount okay and the distribution set not mandatory the reason you can enter the manual distribution we'll enter invoice with the distribution set also later so which payment terms are a payment term is applicable for this invoice that payment term you can select and whatever the payment method we enabled as a default at supplier site level that is system is taking here the stuff information is optional we enter the header information now you can go to lines here we have a tab called as lines go to lines tab okay go to lines tab enter line amount so say we want to enter the same amount as a line amount one invoice can have multiple lines also 
so each line may be against sub different PO. So I'm entering the line amount also 10,000 rupees. Now this line amount we have to distribute. Okay, so you can after entering the line amount you can click on distribution tab. Header information line level we are entering amount just click on distributions. So distribution level how much amount for which account you can enter I'll say 9500 for say computers account say okay and 500 for tax or freight any other account you can select just for our understanding so this is how we can enter the manual distribution for any invoice just save it okay save it then close this distribution window now we enter header information line information 